What's happening guys? Cowboy here, and it's time to get started with the trouble with Darkspawn. So, right where we had cut off, um, there was about three minutes of fighting, and it progressed to the point where I had to get another bridge built, and a ton of shit went down back here in Skyhold. Well, not really like a ton of shit, but I mean, there was a ton of dialogue, and it was completely off topic to the Darkspawn stuff, so decided we come back here and get all that narrative included, and then jump back into the quest separately, so... Over to Cassandra. You knew where Hawk was all along. You're damned right I did. You conniving little shit. You kidnapped me. You interrogated me. What did you expect? Hey, enough! You're taking his side? I said enough! We needed someone to lead this Inquisition. First, Liliana and I searched for the hero of Ferelden, but he had vanished. Then, we looked for Hawk, but he was gone too. We thought it all connected, but no. It was just you. You kept him from us. The Inquisition has a leader. Hawk would have been at the Conclave if anyone could have saved Most Holy. You can't change the past, Cassandra. So I must accept... what? That the Maker wanted all this to happen? That he... that he... Varric is a liar, Inquisitor. A snake. Even after the Conclave, when we needed Hawk most, Varric kept him secret. He's with us now. We're on the same side. We all know whose side you're on, Varric. It will never be the Inquisitions. That's unworthy of you. I must not think of what could have been. We have so much at stake. Go, Varric. Just go. What I think? If Hawk had been at the temple, he'd be dead too. You people have done enough to him. I believed him. He spun his story for me and I swallowed it. If I'd just explained what was at stake, if I'd just made him understand. But I didn't, did I? I didn't explain why we needed Hawk. I'm such a fool. What if you hadn't believed him and you'd tracked Hawk down? Honestly, Hawk might not even have agreed to become Inquisitor. He supported the Mage Rebellion, after all. He wouldn't have trusted me for a second. But this isn't about Hawk, or even Varric. Not truly. I should have been more careful. I should have been smarter. I don't deserve to be here. Have you looked at our Inquisition, Cassandra? We're all fools here. <laughs> Is that supposed to make me feel better? More at home, maybe. I want you to know, I have no regrets. Maybe if we'd found Hawk or the hero of Ferelden, the Maker wouldn't have needed to send you. But he did. You're not what I'd pictured. But if I've learned anything, it's that I know less than nothing. So yeah, it's been a while since I've talked to anybody in Skyhold. Quite a few dialogue options happening. I can keep staring at this, but I won't get any closer. What are you looking for? I suppose I'll never find them on my own. You recall the demon at Therenfall? The one impersonating Lord Seeker Lucius? We never found the real Lord Seeker, or his body. Indeed, I've seen no hint of any Seekers amongst the Red Templars, or anywhere. I have a growing suspicion Corypheus has imprisoned them. Why imprisoned? He could just as easily have killed them. Not easily. But yes, they may be dead. 
Yet a demon of envy does not kill whomever it replaces. It hides them away and learns about them. There must be a trail we can follow. Yet so far I have only discovered hints. But they could have ended up just like the Red Templars. Seekers do not use Lyrium. I assume Corypheus gained control of the Templars by corrupting the Lyrium they were already taking. To do the same to a Seeker, you'd have to force the Lyrium upon him. That may be what happened, but it couldn't have begun that way. We're missing a piece of the puzzle, Inquisitor. I need to find it. Finding them obviously means a lot to you. I left the Order, but I can never abandon them. I cannot even claim that rescuing them would be beneficial. They wouldn't look kindly on the Inquisition. But even so, if there's a chance... If we can spare resources to follow up on these leads, Inquisitor, I would appreciate it. Let's hop into the War Council real fast. I'm guessing that probably created a... Uh Situation on the map I need to take care of. And we can send them to build the dark spawn thing while we're over here. Yeah, so. I know you guys don't like when I cut content, but like I said, it was literally. I killed like four or five dark spawn things, found a, a little point, and then this quest popped up, so I had to come back here and do this anyway. And then we actually jumped into the, the whole romance with Sarah thing unexpectedly, so. I decided to cut off, just start a new video, one where I could uh, get the romance thing, do that separately, which is going to be the next video after this. Deal with that later. I want to find this one that uh, she was just talking about with finding these guys. Ooh, the dragon text one. Did want to get that. Knock that out as well. Just another quick one. Accept report. Okay, let's hop over to Ferelden. Wherever it's at, should have a... Uh, hack Rider. Check a bargain. Celebrate the dragon slaying. That should definitely happen. Yeah, set up some trophies and shit for that. Dorians, gather coins. Ah, they've got the missing seekers. There it is. After what happened, it will take time for the village to recover. Well, we know where it's at, and that's probably something I should send Colin on, I'd imagine. But I don't have anyone else, so we're done here for now. We got tons of power, fucking 65 power sitting around. I'm pretty sure I'm close to an Inquisition perk as well. To Venter Ruin. That'll be good. There was something about talking to, to Josephine. I was just inspecting our new headquarters. Foundation cracks, nesting animals, and miles from any centers of civilization. The staff must make it presentable if we're to receive any visitors of distinction. It certainly wouldn't do for the Inquisition to appear... overly shabby. We've only just now convinced everyone we are precisely what Thedas requires. The Templars will be scrutinizing your leadership. They should feel secure here. I'm more concerned about reinforcing Skyhold in case Corypheus attacks again. I've had difficulty forgetting his assault on Haven. Do you know who first left to arms? Our workers. They were so proud of our cause. Corypheus simply cut them down. So much screaming after that first burst of fire. She's like whispering. So many people turned to ash. Corypheus will pay when I face him again. I dearly hope that happens soon. Well, before I return to my duties, Allow me to congratulate you on your appointment as Inquisitor, my lady. I will now bring diplomatic issues to your attention, and I'm more than happy to help with any situations that arise. I will. Thank you, Ambassador. 
My pleasure, Inquisitor. All right, we got that one done. And Solus has uh, some stuff he wants to say, and Varric, of course. That got a little heated. Are you all right? Well, that depends. How angry is Cassandra? I wasn't trying to keep secrets. I told the Inquisition everything that seemed important at the time. Hawks should have been part of the Inquisition from the beginning. Really? Anybody else you want to conscript? Your inquisitorialness? The first Talon of the Crows? Maybe the Empress of Orlay? The Inquisition's not a secret. People join by choice. I know I need to do better. I'm sorry. Corivius is back. Oh, shit. You said he was a Darkspawn, or, or a Magister. What is he really? I'm not sure. I don't think Corypheus really knows either. He's definitely a Darkspawn, but when we found him, it was pretty obvious he hadn't heard that. He thinks he's a Magister, a priest of Dumat, in fact. He says he broke into the Golden City, like in the Chantry tale. If you and Hawk defeated him once, we can do it again. We didn't just think Corypheus was dead. He was dead. No pulse, no breath, full of stab wounds. There wasn't a lot of room for doubt. It makes me wonder. I thought the Wardens imprisoned Corypheus to use him. Maybe they did it because he can't be killed. How did you and Hawk even wind up in a Grey Warden prison for ancient Darkspawn? Corypheus sent people after Hawk. He actually got control of an entire Carter clan. Made them drink Darkspawn blood. Weird shit. Uh, we tracked the Carter to an old dwarven fort or something in the mountains. Of course, it turned out to be a trap. They needed Hawk's blood to open the locks holding Corypheus. And they drew us into the prison to get it. There has to be a way to defeat Corypheus. We'll find it. Don't worry. I hope you're right. Baker's breath, what have I let loose? Forget the past. It makes no difference what Corypheus is or how he got loose. We're putting an end to him. I, I wish I had your confidence. But you've got more important things to do than listen to me worry. Just let me know when you want something shot. I think we're done with his dialogue chain. Need something? Yep, all right, we're back to normal with him. And Solus has some shit to say as well. We must stop the Wardens from carrying out this insane plan, Inquisitor. The Chill out, Solus. ...deliberately in some bizarre attempt to preempt the Blight. Grey Wardens have always been dangerous. They care for nothing beyond stopping the Darkspawn. Like a fair maiden chasing a butterfly off a cliff. Except if you don't stop them, we'll all fall. Those fools and duty. Responsibility is not expertise. Action is not inherently superior to inaction. Forgive me. The entire idea is... unnerving. Tell Solus is a little pissed. Just a little, right? We gotta hop up here. Our agents have encountered more followers of Corypheus, these so-called Venatori. Their leader, Calpernia, has them searching elven ruins. For what, I do not know. I propose we stop the Venatori before they find what they seek. Do you know anything about Calpernia? Only that Calpernia is a name from ancient Tevinter legend. An unusual one. She was a priestess of Dumat, Foster mother to the founder of the Imperium. A name like that is meant to assure the Venatori they follow in the footsteps of legends. We must prove them wrong. I'm pleased to see my spy master is on top of the matter. I try. These Venatori have been shadowing a merchant called Vicinius on Calpurnia's orders. They've investigated his finances. 
surveyed his warehouses. I propose that you meet with Vicinius. Flatter him. Find out what he knows of Calpurnia. We need him to open up about these bloodthirsty cultists. I'll bring wine. Vicinius could be a useful ally. Merchants travel. And they love gossip as much as coin. I'll make arrangements for you to visit his summer home in Val Rayo. Hopefully, your attention should be enough to pique his interest. We'll have Calpurnia's secrets yet. Alright, so we still have Dorian I haven't talked to in a while. Pretty much Sarah's like the only person I've been talking to at this camp. And obviously the, uh, the romance. Like I said, I ended up jumping into that, but it involves going around and talking to all these people, so I felt it was more appropriate to have an episode where we just went and actually talked to them all ahead of time instead of cutting through all that dialogue and skipping it or even including it in the, uh, the Sarah romance episode. And I thought Dorian was like right down here. How did I miss him? Oh, there you are. Walked right past you. I heard a little rumor about you. Is that so? Indeed. Someone's been doing some training. As an assassin, no less. The skills involved are rather handy. I should say. With the amount of killing you do, a bit of flair's a fine thing. I don't kill that many people. Are you joking? I'm only surprised you didn't kill someone walking over here. At any rate, if you ever intend to make it an actual profession, do tell me. The Antivan Crows have nothing on the Imperium. I know people. Keep it in mind. I should go. Naturally. All right. Got him. Cullen. Not talked to Cullen in some time. I'm sure he has plenty to say as well. Oh, that's right. There's a... Uh, what's her name? She's way up top, too. Uh, we'll worry about her later. Let's go to Cullen. I think he's up in the battlements. Courtyard. In theory, it should be like up there, so I'll just take the stairs here. Hopefully, that brings me over to him. Just what I heard. When I reach down, my dagger. There we go. As leader of the Inquisition, you... There's something I must tell you. You're being especially serious today. I know. Lyrium grants Templars our abilities, but it controls us as well. Those cut off suffer. Some go mad, others die. We have secured a reliable source of Lyrium for the Templars here. But I no longer take it. You stopped? When I joined the Inquisition. It's been months now. Why are you doing this? After what happened in Kirkwall, I couldn't. I will not be bound to the Order or that life any longer. Whatever the suffering, I accept it. But I would not put the Inquisition at risk. I've asked Cassandra to watch me. If my ability to lead is compromised, I will be relieved from duty. Are you in pain? I can endure it. Thank you for telling me. I respect what you're doing. Thank you, Inquisitor. The Inquisition's army must always take priority. Should anything happen, I will defer to Cassandra's judgment. Well, that kind of sucks. Confessions of Illyrium Addict. Now the Grey Wardens. Both devoted their lives to fighting evil. Now they serve it. What better way to demoralize the people of Thedas than to corrupt their heroes? 
If Corypheus appears with Templars and Wardens at his side, why shouldn't they follow too? Because now is not the time to lose hope. The Inquisition must serve as an example. We must stand where others fall. That's all for now. I'm sure you have other matters to attend. Ooh. So back down here, swing by Iron Bull. Inquisitor, huh? Well, you've got the fortress for it. Speaking of which, when you've got a second, there's something I want to show you. What did you want me to come see? Here, come on. I'll show you. Spoiler alert, it's not his penis. Why am I dressed like this? You'll see. Come on, it'll be worth your time, I promise. Evening, Iron Bull. My Merc band just joined up. Tanner, I'm from Jader. Well, Mir Jader. Mira. I was guard captain for Lady Pendel. Signed on after shit blew up at the Conclave. Share a drink? Who's your friend? This is Grim. She doesn't talk much. Huh. So, you ready to kill some demons? Or Venatori? Or whatever that Corypheus asshole is? This isn't just about killing. We're helping the Inquisitor save the world and build the next empire. Hmm. <clears throat> Well, long as I get paid, I'm happy. That's why I signed up. I just couldn't spend my whole life on a farm. Needed to live a little, you know. What about you, Mira? Why'd you join up? I thought you were serving some noble. I saw what happened at Haven. The Inquisitor staring down that monster and his archdemon. I don't think the chant of light as much as I should. But you can't see something like that and not believe. Well... Grim and I should find our tents. Thanks for the drink. I know every soldier under my command. You don't have that option. But a few faces might help. I knew some of the soldiers felt like that. But to actually hear it... It's hard to be just an idea sometimes. That's all you are to most of them. It's why you could stand right in front of them without being recognized. You've got a good army coming along. Remember that, no matter what comes next. All right, and the only other person I have not talked to... Well, there's Blackwall, but he doesn't ever have anything. He just wants to talk about Warden bullshit. There is Vivian, though. So let's hop over to Vivian. We'll talk to her, and that'll wrap things up. 23 minutes for all this dialogue. Jesus, I didn't think it was going to take this long. And let's see. Vivian is... I might Reports of fade rifts and demons keep coming. The people are... Let me go downstairs. I know she's in, like, the main area. I just forget how to get to her. Let's see. We go on past. All right. And this door looks promising. Ah, yes. Vivian. Yes? Is there anything I can do to help your efforts at restoring the Circle? After the Circles fell, their libraries were plundered by scavengers. A thousand years of recorded knowledge in the hands of bandits. It makes me sick to think of it. I've received news that some tomes have been located, if you are interested in writing this wrong. I'll look into it for you. If you can take care of this matter, the circle would be in your debt. Alright. So, the only thing left is Cole, who never really says anything. But with that, we have successfully gone through and talked to everybody. So, obviously, up next, we are going to go talk to Sarah, bring you guys the full romance. Like I said, I had started doing it in the last episode. The last episode was just to give you a rundown. Basically, I started with 
doing the Darkspawn thing. After about three minutes of that, I had to come back here after killing Darkspawn to do that thing I did on the map. And then, after I saw the Sarah mission had been completed, I decided to talk to her, and it jumped into a full, like, you know, couple quests that led up to the romance. So, since the romance involved talking to all those people, figured I'd bring you guys a separate episode, do all the dialogue so you guys get narrative on what's happening with the story. We'll do the romance next, and then following that, we will jump back in to the trouble with Darkspawn. So thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I will see you next time with more Dragon Age Inquisition. Welcome back.